Today, we present to you seven nightmarish spiders you'll never want to encounter. These six-legged sacks of venom will leave you with nightmares. Number 7. The Jumping Spider the Salticidae spider family, also called the jumping spider, contains over 600 described genera and over 5,800 species. They are specifically known for being very agile while hunting and even executing jumps, especially in response to sudden threats. Jumping spiders are usually found in tropical forests, temperate forests, deserts, and mountainous regions. One species, called Europhrys omnisupers, has been reportedly collected at the highest elevation, on the slopes of Mount Everest. Jumping spiders are easy to distinguish from other genus because of their specific characteristics such as prominent eyes. Their body length ranges from 0.04 to 0.98 inches. Their front legs are generally larger than the hind, but they depend on their rear legs for jumping, while the front ones are used to assist in grasping prey. In order to jump, they use their internal hydraulic system to help them extend the limbs by altering the pressure of body fluid within them. This means they can perform jumps without having large muscular legs. Jumping spiders are also known for their excellent vision, considering the fact that they have eight eyes. The large posterior eyes are adapted to vision in dim light in some species, while in others, the large anterior eyes are adapted to detailed three-dimensional vision for estimating the range, direction, and nature of potential prey. Jumping spiders are diurnal active hunters, although they are not considered to be a danger to humans people that encounter them might be frightened by their looks and jumping skills. Number 6. The Wolf Spider Wolf spiders belong to the family Lycosidae and are easy to recognize by their robust bodies and prominent shining eyes. They are known for having excellent vision due to their eight large eyes arranged in three rows. Flashing a light over the wolf spider will produce eye shine. Depending on the genera, their body size can range from 0.4 to 1.38 inches. Wolf spiders are nocturnal and depend on camouflage for protection. This means their body color is adapted to their favorite habitat. Some species will make deep tubular burrows, while others will seek shelter under rocks or leaves. They are most likely to be found around grassy areas or farm fields in nature, or around windows, doors, houseplants, and inside the house. They hunt on the ground and are rather solitary creatures, despite the name that would suggest they live in packs. Wolf spiders are not aggressive but will bite when provoked. Their venom is not deadly to humans, but their bites can be very painful. Symptoms of being bit by one may include swelling or itching. The pain will go away in a few days, but if the bite is left untreated, it can result in necrosis. Wolf spiders live in many regions around the world, but are most commonly found around North and South Carolina. In 2000, the Carolina wolf spider was designated the official state spider of South Carolina. Number 5. Mouse Spiders Mouse spiders, scientifically known as miscellina, are medium to large spiders. Their bodies range from 0.39 to 1.20 inches in length. Females are all black, while males have specific coloration, depending on the species. For example, male red-headed mouse spiders are brown or blue-black in color, with bright red-tinged jaws, and male eastern mouse spiders have blue patches. There are 17 known species in the miscellina genus, and all but one are indigenous to Australia. One species may be found in Chile, and the nearest related genera occur in South America. They prefer to live in burrows that can extend to the depth of 12 inches, which provide shelter from predators and parasites, but also high temperatures. These burrows are dug in soil, covered with a hinged top, known as a trap door. Mouse spiders feed on insects, but also some small animals. Both males and females have large fangs and will bite if provoked. They do not pose a threat to humans unless they feel in danger. Some of them may envenom humans, but can also give dry bites. When bit by a mouse spider, humans may have symptoms like tingling around the mouth and tongue, nausea, vomiting, shortness of breath, sweating, or even facial muscle twitching. However, Serious envenomings in humans are rare, and most bites documented in the medical literature did not involve serious symptoms or require antivenom. Number 4. 
The Sydney Funnel Web Spider. The Sydney Funnel Web Spider, or Atrax robustus, is a venomous spider native to eastern Australia. It got its name because it is usually found within a 62 mile radius of Sydney, but also from weaving a tubular burrow retreat lined with silk with collapsed or open funnels. The Sydney Funnel Web Spider may also be found around the central coast of Australia to the Illawarra region and west of Sydney to the Blue Mountains in New South Wales. It is medium to large, its body length reaching up to 2 inches in length. Also, both males and females are darkly colored, glossy with an almost hairless carapace. While females have a larger body, male specimens usually have longer legs. Sydney Funnel Web Spiders spend most of their time in their burrows, rushing out only when potential prey walks across the trip lines. They feed on insects, frogs, or lizards, which they subdue by injecting them with their venom. Males wander more during the warmer times of the year in search of females for mating. Sydney funnel web spiders are nocturnal because daytime conditions could dehydrate them. They are most active during or after the rain as their burrows might get flooded. Sydney funnel web spiders are very dangerous to people, being able to cause serious injuries. Their venom is highly toxic to humans and other primates and can cause death if the bite is left untreated. They are defensive and rear up on their hind legs, displaying their fangs when they feel threatened. They strike repeatedly and deliver full envenomations when biting. Their bites are very painful, and symptoms indicating you have been attacked by a Sydney funnel web spider include visible fang marks, drooling, double vision, numbness in the mouth or lips, rapid heart rate, difficulty breathing, joint pain, severe muscle spasms, confusion, agitation, or even coma. In some cases, after biting, Sydney funnel spiders will remain attached until dislodged. Number 3. Black Widows the Black Widow, scientifically named Latrodectus mactans, is a highly venomous species of spider which belongs to the family Therideidae, most commonly known as widow spiders. It is native to North America, and there are two species, the Northern Black Widow, found in the northeastern United States as far west as Texas and as far north as Ohio, and the Southern Black Widow, which can be found in the northeastern United States and also Canada, where it ranges in the southern parts of Ontario. British Columbia, Alberta, Manitoba, and Saskatchewan. Black widow females are easy to recognize by their shiny black bodies with the distinctive red hourglass shaped markings on the abdomen. Some female widows have a red or orange patch above the spinnerets on the top of the abdomen. Males are purple or gray. Females' bodies range from 0.31 to 0.51 inches depending on whether they are carrying eggs or not. Males, however, are much smaller, reaching up to 0.24 inches in body size. Black widows weave three-dimensional tangled webs and produce exceptionally strong silk. Their web is strong enough to catch animals as large as mice. Males also use sperm webs for reproduction by depositing semen on it. Female black widows may eat the males after mating. These spiders usually prey on insects, but may occasionally feed on other arachnids, wood lice, diplopods, or chilopods. Although they are highly venomous, only mature Mature females are dangerous to humans, being capable of envenomation. They have hollow, needle-like mouthparts called chelicerae, which they use for injecting venom. The symptoms of being bit by a mature black widow female are pain, vomiting, sweating, and muscle rigidity, which are also the symptoms of the illness latrodectism caused by the bite of a latrodectus spider. This illness is rarely fatal to humans, contrary to popular belief. Nevertheless, domestic cats that have been bit by the Black Widow have been known to die with convulsion and paralysis. Number 2. The Goliath Bird Eater the Goliath bird eater spider is a species that belongs to the tarantula family Therophosidae. It is usually found in northern South America, being native to the upland rainforest regions like Guyana, French Guyana, Suriname, northern Brazil, and southern Venezuela. It is a nocturnal species and likes living in deep burrows, marshy, or swampy areas. It is known for being the largest spider in the world by size and mass, reaching a body length of up to 4.7 inches 
inches and a body weight of up to 6.2 ounces. Its name comes from an 18th century copper engraving that shows one eating a hummingbird. However, Goliath bird eater spiders prey on adult birds very rarely. They usually eat earthworms and toads and have been occasionally observed preying on lizards, frogs, mice, and even snakes. These spiders do not pose a threat to humans unless provoked. Goliath bird eaters have fangs where they carry venom and that are large enough to break the human skin. However, the effects of being bitten by such a spider are similar to being stung by a wasp. Generally, tarantulas only bite humans when feeling threatened, and not all bites result in envenomation. When they are in danger, they may rub their abdomen with their hind legs, releasing hairs that cause severe irritation to the skin and mucous membranes. This species is considered to have the most harmful tarantula urticating hairs of all tarantula species. Goliath bird eater spiders respond to threats by making a sound called stridulation, resulted from rubbing together the hair-like protrusions on their legs. Number 1. The Brazilian Wandering Spider Phonutria nigraventer, also known as the Brazilian wandering spider, is a species of the venomous genus Phonutria. It is mostly found in tropical South America, in countries like Brazil, Uruguay, Paraguay, or Argentina, and usually like to wander the jungle floor at night rather than maintaining a web like most spiders do. While they are active during the night, Brazilian wandering spiders spend their days hiding in dark and moist places near human dwellings. Spiders in the Phonutria genus can reach a leg span of 5.1 to 5.9 inches and a body length that ranges from 0.67 to 1.89 inches. Specimens have a dense prolateral scopuli, a dense brush of fine hairs, a distinct feature that distinguishes the genus from other related genera. Their scary appearance is paired with the high toxicity of their venom, which contains a potent neurotoxin that causes loss of muscle control, breathing problems, paralysis, and eventually asphyxiation. The Brazilian wandering spider's bite is extremely painful and causes inflammation. Scientists discovered that females produce a higher quantity of venom. Even though they are to be taken in consideration as a real danger to humans, Brazilian wandering spiders usually envenom very small prey, rarely attacking larger animals. Nevertheless, their bites had already killed 14 documented people until 1996 when an antidote was found. Realize the situation, observers on the boat above opened the cage's escape hatch to provide an escape route for the creature. Chan, on the other hand, dived down and slipped out of the bottom of the cage to escape. However, he discovered two other sharks swimming close by beneath him. Not wanting to become prey to the pair, he quickly swam back up 